Welcome, and well met. Dear, that's the wrong one. Ah, oh, apologies. Thank you, my darling. <sighs> Fie. My vision's growing worse by the day, I fear. Methinks it began when I started reading an old grimoire. It is entitled, On the Transference of Souls. A curious tome, this. It claims to grant the reader the power to summon things. I thought I might use it to stock my shells with otherworldly wares. Perhaps you will think me simple, but truly, yet tis most vexing. For the moment I start reading the tome, but mayhap there is hope for me yet. They're said to reduce fatigue of the eyes. I must keep reading that grimoire. Have you brought me a quince? Many thanks, sir. At last, I may continue reading that grimoire. Well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Which brings me to a curious point, hmm? What happened to my eye? Oh, uh, uh, near mind the bandage. Now, as I was saying, I'd like for you to find the Grimoire's second volume for me. T'would seem tis part of a set, and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal. I implore you, find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent life, the life they deserve. Mother, quick! Over here! Beg pardon, sir, but I must ask you to stop aiding my husband. He lost his eye while reading that grimoire. I can't bear to see him involved with that fell thing anymore. But he refuses to listen to me. He's been saying not to worry, that he'll make us more money soon. Tis as if he's lost his mind how much he repeats it. <gasps> Tis all my fault, Mother! He's only been like this since I said I wished we had an easier life. No, it isn't, dear, and don't you fret. Pray, sir, seek out that grimoire if you must, but do not give it to my husband. I beg of you. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy. On the transference of s does not like to do much harm. Take care how you use it, sir. Ah, I see. I shall have your order crafted in good time. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. The item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness to this momentous occasion. This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. 
Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! Ah! I did it! I did it! Now, what do we have here? Tis sand. Sand as could be found anywhere. I suppose it was foolish to hope that our fortunes could be turned so easily. Well, I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. If you'll still have me, my dears. My dears? Esmeralda? Raelia? Where could they have gone? Hmm. This, this is my daughter's. And, and here's my wife's wedding ring. Why would they be buried here in the sand? Unless... <laughs> Nay, it couldn't be. My wife and daughter vanished? For this? Piles of sand? <laughs> no, of course not. Their patience with me simply ran thin. They run off somewhere, that's all. I'm sure of it. I'll just have to find them. Come back, my dears! I was a fool! Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness to this momentous occasion. This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! Ah! Did I? Did I do it? All appears unchanged. A failure then. Ah well. I suppose our fortunes were ne'er likely to turn so easily. I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. My dears, can you forgive me for my foolishness? Oh, Isaac. You two had the right of it all along. I ne'er should have chased after a silly dream like this. Father, I... I shouldn't have complained. I know you do your best for us. You always have. Enough of that now. You've naught to apologize for. Tis a father's duty to provide for his children. I only wish I could give you more. You have my gratitude, Sir Ariza. Though I failed in my quest, I've learnt much. And from this moment forth, I'll be focusing my energies on naught but my trade. I hope I can count on your continued patronage, sir.